Alright guys, Lord Nolan here, and I am back at it on Dynasty Warriors Empires 8. So, last time I think I, I took over all of the Yellow Turban's uh, territory, which is why that battle took so much out of, like... Uh, it, it, that's why it took so long to defeat those guys. I was literally fighting them for four territories. And uh, now I think I'm getting attacked. I don't know exactly by who. Hold on, who am I? Who is that? Tao Kin is trying to attack me. And uh, I'm not about to let that go down. So I gotta defend my base. My people are all exhausted. I only got three guys. I I don't have no soldiers, you know. I might end up having a I might end up having a rest. I might not be able to do this one because these guys are really tired, and I I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. Oh, let me see. I can I can get some more troops. Wait a couple turns. Just hopefully they don't keep attacking. Cause if they keep attacking, I'll lose it. And uh. You know. Hey, all right. I got. I found a, a guy that's trying to make an alliance with me. I'm guessing one of my people went and got it. Uh, got it started for us. So uh, these guys should come into battles to help me, but not always. So, now we're an allied nation of five different regions, and these guys are relatively weak, so I can't really expect them to be too helpful against big guys, but against just these guys, I think uh, I can take, like I can, I can use their, uh, can use their support. Now, I got enough troops so that all of us can uh, literally have a, a person so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this guy's territory so that he can't attack me anymore and I know we're all weakened but with our full troops and literally my excellent skills in this game I think I can take these guys. Now I am rusty, so I'm worried I might fail. But you, you, you got to take these big gambles sometimes early on, so that you can get a, a head start later in the game. Because if you don't, then the, the, there there will be big countries overnight before you know it, and you won't be able to stand up to them. Okay. Um, let's see. I can deal with all this. I can deal with all that. Uh, yeah, I only got three guys. They got six guys. Um, yeah, I'll fortify this. Just fortify that as much as I can. And these two that are connected to it as much as I can. Like, there you go. That gives me a little bit of a buffer so that these guys don't just run all over me. And these stratagems are going to be what keep us alive. Literally, without these good strategies, like, I'm, I'm fairly certain I would get more. These, these strategies here are key to surviving early on. And uh, you got to go through a couple of campaigns before you can get a lot of these strategies. But once you get them, I prefer this combination. It's just because I can injure the enemy, I can heal my own people, I can raise my uh, attack, and I can get back to the main camp in case we get overwhelmed. So it uh, it all like 
it, it only goes so far if you're not skilled because without skill in this game that you will get run over but uh, as long as you got something going you should be okay I don't think I have any other weapons I think that's it yeah this is it I don't really have any other weapons er wait is the spear better than the sword? Uh, I might try this spear. Yeah, I'm gonna try the spear. I don't know how good it's gonna be, but I'm gonna try it. Uh, I don't, I don't think I can. Oh, I can. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna nerd. Uh, I'm gonna need both of these. These are my, these are my two. Boom. Here we go guys, defend the bases, here we go, I'm gonna have you defend where you're at now, and you defend where you're at now, and I will go on the attack, because without them being there, these guys are gonna run rampant, and I need to get through these objectives really fast. If I don't get through these objectives quickly, then uh, these guys are going to wreck us. Oh yeah, that's strength right there. Give us a little buffer by taking these these things right here. See how much easier these guys are to defeat than the last time? It's because this is a weaker nation. These guys were not prepared for the likes of Lord Nolan. This guy here, I have a strength that most people can't mess with. Now, I will say, if, like, uh, if I were to try and take on a strong nation, they would still be pretty tough to beat but I don't have that issue because the guys I'm fighting right now they only had one country oh shit I'm about to I'm not going all the way around I'm gonna jump yeah, boom oh shoot Taking down these spot turrets is actually a good strategy if you can if you got somebody that can do it quickly. Because that cuts the number of oh shoot. Oh shoot. No 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 no. No 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 no. Good night. No 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 no. I am too strong for this. No. Right. And when you out like when you outmatch your opponent, it doesn't matter if their weapon is the superior uh let's call it the superior element over yours outmatching them is outmatching them it, I've, like uh, anybody that fights Lubu knows what I'm talking about when you outmatch your opponent it does not matter what your weapon is you could have like some god like you could, have, you could have the god tier weapon of all god tier weapons but if you're going against Lubu and your stats are weak it don't matter yeah, he will wreck you that's what, the, that's what they're, they're, I'm the equivalent right now of Lu Bu on this map. Like, they have no chance to defeat me. Like, right now, right now, I am the god of war. Like, these are all just small, like, the little tiny demon guys on god of war. This, these guys are nobodies right now. Yeah, that. I'm already at 700. The last time I fought on these maps, it took, I had to go, like, almost, I don't even know how many minutes before I could even get to, like, a couple hundred, let alone eight. Like, see, the, the difference, okay, now, now that I got this side covered, yeah, you go and you wait, you attack that guy I need to 
I need to go back. Because these guys are starting to overrun. Or, ooh, actually, this is what these are for. Boom. Now I'm a base away. And I can launch into them. They aren't going to be able to uh, take this base now because the, the little god of war has arrived. Boom. And I can take that guy down. Boom. Objective completed. And by taking out that guy, I think I completed a second objective. And now I leave this here. By wherever I can. Where's the nearest? Where can I put this? Ah, he was there. And now my guys will recover while they're fighting here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up these areas here a little bit more so that they got a little wiggle room. They gotta fight. They gotta take on another base before they can get to my people. And these guys. Like I said, this is a weak nation. These guys aren't strong. I can, they're surrounded by me and my people, so they can't get back up from anyone. They literally are, they're, these guys are literally at my mercy. They have no, they have no, uh, no backup, no strength, no, no heroes of any kind, really. These are just kind of normal officers. They don't have any heroes. Uh, I don't have any heroes, but I make up for that by being like the hero uh, of my country. And then, boom. Now I got a little buffer zone. Get a little help. And now I got, I'm going to go up to the top. And I'm going to clear out the area that they have up there. And all of the officers they have up there so that now my people won't have to worry about getting overrun up here. Wait, I mean, I, did, I took a wrong turn somewhere. Okay, hold on. I think, let's just go straight here. Okay, yeah, all right, here we go. You messed up with this one. Boom. You see that? I am the literal god of war right now. They cannot defeat me. It is, a, it is an impossibility. Now, not gonna lie, I'm gonna have to cut these videos short because I do not have enough space on my phone for long videos. So these videos are pretty much going to be uh, like videos that I cut clips out of maybe because I don't know exactly how much more recording time I have on this phone but uh, I will try and make more videos like this so that you can see through this whole campaign and uh, if I have to I may drop two a day that way I can get uh like one done in the morning and then fin maybe if a battle takes too long finish the battle off get one done in the afternoon i'll try and do that for y'all guys because uh this campaign has been literally sitting here and waiting for months now and uh i i feel like i owe y'all the finishing of this campaign and i have people ask about it and uh you know I am going to I'm gonna finish up this campaign for you. That is a promise by me to you. I'm gonna finish this campaign. And I'm gonna I am gonna conquer all of China in this. Now, because I've cut them off here, 
I cut off all their their bases at the lower section. Even if they come at me, they can't beat me. And I can get to their main camp now because it's all connected. I made a straight line to their main camp. Now, anybody that's out there, they're going to want to come back because I've gotten too close. They're going to stop trying to make forward progress and defend, which is going to put them on the defensive, which means now, boom, I can tell all my men to advance. They're not gonna. They're not gonna make it to the main camp before I get them. Before I beat these guys. But they are. Uh, they are also not gonna have to worry about someone taking up depth. See, they ain't gonna make it. I, I beat the guy before they even had a chance to get here. And now we have the territory in the middle of my country, end of my region, and they're. There's no one that can attack me from the inside anymore. I oh I didn't defeat that guy. That's right. He went around. Uh, he went a different direction than me, and I didn't catch that one. So I missed those, but I got these two. I knew I had gotten two, but uh, I missed. I didn't. I didn't beat this guy before the three minutes, and I didn't capture the base for three minutes because uh, the guy went the opposite direction of the base, and I had to leave to go back to uh, defeat the guys that were ganging up on my people before they got beaten so I mean it's, it sucks but I got I still got bonus points so we're good and we got a lot of strength from this fight so people probably might level up um yeah I, I, I'll probably recruit most of these guys so I can pad my numbers cause I'm gonna need I'm gonna need people None of these guys are heroes, it's just, uh, no, goodbye. Yeah, I'm not, I am not, oh, hey. Ah, you suck. Alright. Ah. Come on, guys. There we go. Alright, I got four officers out of that. So, uh, like I said, two common and one lieutenant they're, they're not really that big a deal the even the leader wasn't even that good but uh it makes it worth it by having enough officers that i can spread them out and give them more orders so i can command more bases on the battlefield and with that i've taken the country or the, the region in the middle of my region that i catch from the yellow turbans and next up will be one of the regions around my uh, my area, probably going for one that has more than one region, like the little purple region. Uh, so, with that, I don't know exactly how much more time I have on this on the recording, so I'm gonna finish it here with the uh, titles that I gained for that battle and. Uh, the stratagems and all that stuff that I got and boom this is the with this I'm going to end the video uh, if you like the video drop a like if you uh, want to support the channel uh, subscribe uh, comment and also I have a patreon that uh, the, the will be in the description below I got merch for the higher tiers, but Patreon doesn't make merch for any of the tiers that are lower than that. So, uh, uh, I, I'm going to try and make some kind of content for you guys also. And uh, right now, anybody that uh, becomes a patron, all of you can become part of the chat and the community so we can talk to each other and uh, y'all can get to know each other and stuff like that and make it, build a strong community. So, uh, yeah, I've, I've now conquered five regions in, in this eastern part of China, and I've leveled up, and uh, we're going to successfully take over more areas. Right now, I think I am the strongest country and the strongest kingdom in uh, China, so we're going we're gonna to get, we're going to get some more stuff going. Uh, no one's attacking me because I'm the strongest and uh, now that means I have some turns where I can spend some money to 
build up my stuff and that's probably what I'm gonna do off screen I might do, I might spend a couple turns off screen and just show y'all the battles I'm not exactly sure if I will show y'all uh, everything I might have another series where I show y'all how to do things in the game but uh, for now that's this is it uh, I hope you guys have a good day Lord loaning out